Ooh, welcome to this question. This is an ABG question. I love these. Now, if you haven't really learned ABGs yet, don't worry. We'll walk you through this question and then you can always catch our video on ABGs. We have a whole series on how you can learn to interpret ABGs. So let's get going on this question. The nurse is assessing a client with COPD who has a pH of 7.32, a CO2 of 46, and a bicarb of 28. For which condition does the nurse associate these assessment findings? Wow, that sounds very proper, doesn't it? What's our strategy? Take a look at the first sentence. And remember with every number you have to decide, is it high, low, or normal? Okay, so I'm assessing a, a client with COPD. Well, we know they got respiratory problems, right? Now they have a pH of 7.32. Is that high, low, or normal? It's low. Normal pH is 7.35 to 7.45. Okay, I want you to work through the rest of the options. CO2, is that high or low? Bicarb or HCO3 of 28, is that high, low, or normal. Okay, now we're gonna find out which condition does a nurse associate these assessment findings. So what would you expect? If we interpret these ABGs, we're likely gonna have four options and you're gonna to have to identify which one is the best description of where this patient is. All right, ready? Let's bring in those answer choices. Okay, work through these, push the pause button, and then start us back up again and we'll walk through the answer choices. All right, see you in a minute. Welcome back. All right, when I see answer choices like this, my brain gets a little squishy, like, oh, they look all the same. Not a problem. Anytime you have four answer choices that look this close and similar to each other, let's make sure we use some key strategies. Let's look at what's the same and what is different. Well, the first two answers are respiratory, respiratory. The last two are metabolic, metabolic. Okay, so we've got respiratory acidosis, respiratory alkalosis, metabolic acidosis, metabolic alkalosis. <laughs> Great. All right. So we have all four options, right? When you're looking at some type of imbalance, you can only be one of those four things. Huh? Kind of perfect for a multiple select question. So we know that we've got these four options. Now, pH is the one that determines if I'm acidotic or alkalotic. If I have a pH of 7.32, that is not normal. It's a little bit below normal. So pH of 7.32 is considered acidotic. Okay, so what can I get rid of? Well, right now I can get rid of number two. So I'm gonna cross through that because that's alkalosis and I know that pH is acidosis. I can get rid of number four because that's metabolic alkalosis. So I'm gonna cross through that. Woohoo! That quickly, we're down to those two answers that I always do my best to get the correct one. No more saying, I always get it down to two, and then I always pick the wrong one. That's not true. You can do hard things. We're here to help you. So we're left with respiratory acidosis, partially compensated, or metabolic acidosis, partially compensated. Well, here's what you have to look at. The CO2 of 46. Now, is that normal? Well, normal CO2 is 35 to 45. This is just a skosh above it, right? Just a little bit. Now, bicarb, normal range is 20 to 26-ish, right in there, right? So we know that this is high. Whoa, wait a minute, what's going on here? Well, we have a patient that's acidotic, their CO2 is high, but their bicarb is also high. What we have going on here is so cool, what our body does, all right? So I am in acidosis. Now, is CO2 considered an acid in the blood or is bicarb? CO2 is considered an acid in the blood. 
Which body system controls CO2? The lungs. Bicarb is considered a base or alkalotic. Think about the kidneys kind of controlling that system. So if I'm in respiratory acidosis, that would mean I'm in acidosis and the cause is an elevated CO2. Does that ring a bell? Okay, that's sounding pretty good. Why would this not be metabolic acidosis? Well, if bicarb is a base, in order for this to be metabolic acidosis, I would expect there to be less base. If the cause of this pH of 7.32 is metabolic, that means I would have less base available. This one's got extra, right? It's got extra bicarb. That means my body is trying to get back to homeostasis, hence the terms partially compensated. So this is technically respiratory acidosis. That's what got us to this acidotic state. Now I look at the opposite system and I see bicarb. Is the body responding in a way that's helpful? Well, if I'm acidotic, if I can raise my alkalotic or bicarb levels, then I'll bring that pH higher and higher to be back in the normal range. So this has to be respiratory acidosis, partially compensated. Woohoo! Why is it partially compensated? Well, because the pH is still 7.32. It's outside of the normal range. Now in real life, would we be pretty happy with this? Probably, depending on what else is going on. But remember, we're talking about testing world and NCLEX world, and those are the perfect worlds. Okay, if you've never been exposed to ABGs before, that may have been like, what did we just talk about? If it's been a while, hopefully it came back to you. And if you know them like a rock star, celebrate, man, take a victory lap. If you got that question right and you understood why you got that question right. Cool. Now, if you want to learn more or you want to refresh, we did a whole series with a couch. We got a pillow on each side for acidosis and alkalosis. We got all kinds of cool stuff talking about the couch of homeostasis. Check it out. I promise you will be a rock star on ABGs after watching that video series.